How's it going guys? Been a while since I made a video. I have been so busy with non-stop printing. Now, this is a real issue, but I remedied it. So you can see how nice those layers are going down. Proper nice. This is at 150 millimeters a second. Um, you can see the, uh, the other one going there. 50% infill on that. Okay, so I had a wicked, wicked problem for the last, like, week. This printer and this one were not performing like this one. Like, no matter what. I ended up uh, 10 hours yesterday just trying to remedy the situation. Still didn't remedy it. I have now. Um, updated the firmware again. I had a couple power outages that knocked these guys offline and it screwed over the firmware because they were all printing identical really, really well at high speed. When the power failure came, something happened with the firmware. So I, re I literally, after trying everything uh, yesterday, I reflashed both of these and it improved the print quality slightly, but not the problem. It didn't fix it. And I did, like to get this printing like that looks like glass right now probably the one of the best prints come off this machine all right let's show you uh what the drive behind that is look at how rough this is looks like a damn clay brick like legit not happy this is what comes out of the other one versus that one and this happened when the power went off a couple of times because these things were printing mint before this um, batch. So there was a lot of them that printed like that. Dissatisfied. Not at all the quality I want. Even that, you know, it'll do. But it's not perfect. So I started printing the tops yesterday. And look at the shit that was coming out of these things. All day. These are three hours of print. Horrible. Horrible. I mean, they're usable. I'll still use them because the top is what I want. But uh, horrible. Not impressed. So look at the difference. So I went on a bender to find out what the hell is the problem. Every single one. It looks like cork. So, of course, there's not much information out online about this. I did find one video that told me exactly what the problem was. It was the first video I watched. And, um, anyways, I think I've remedied it. I'm just trying it now. Like, horrible. Every one of those prints is just horrible. Not impressed. Even the bottoms. Look at how shitty that is. What the fuck is going on? This is what they should look like. Well, somewhat. That's still a glassy. Not impressed. Again. A shitty one. Where's a proper one? These are the proper ones. You know? Still not the best, but not bad for 150 millimeters for something that's supposed to print at 60. Great. All right, so uh, I'm still printing. I mean, it, it just never ends. I've got this done. This part of it, part of it done. I'm printing a couple more bases for the balancers. The reason I'm printing them so thick is I want to epoxy this on to give this some more stability. It's pretty thin and flimsy. Now, I couldn't make those a whole lot thicker. There's so much damn work on the bottom of this board to, to fit with this that, <laughs> like, it's just a lot of work, man. No joke. So, uh, and never mind the hours. Hours of printing. Ha! <laughs> uh, yeah, we won't even talk about that. So these clearly are not for sale. I will not build one for anyone. <laughs> like, go build your own. If you want the files, I'll sell you the files. I spent about 200 hours designing all of this, drawing it all up. That's not even a joke. There's just a tremendous amount of work. So the remedy for this... Ugly shit to fix it so that it looks like perfect, like it should. This is still a little, but I haven't adjusted this one. This one didn't, it's still functioning just perfect um, compared to the other two. 
You go into Cura, and you type in flow rate, and you change your percentage. There is a formula where you measure 100 millimeters and uh, extrude 100 millimeters, and you measure what's left, and that'll tell you your percentage of correction. But um, my printers don't allow me to do that. I can't just tell it to feed 100 millimeters of filament. It doesn't happen for me. So I just guessed. It was at 0% compensation. I went to 3%, and I showed you the results. Let's go back over here and have a look. Now you can see it's doing the 150 millimeter per second infill perfectly. Uh, the last time, yeah, <laughs> it did not. It did not do that. Let's. Uh, I don't know if I can see the layers. They're still a little shitty looking, but it's getting better. It's probably closer to 5% compensation. So if you're having that issue. That's the only way I've been able to remedy it. And uh, there you go. Ciao.